In this tutorial, we're going to cover configuring an L32E, a 1769 Compact Logics processor, L32E. First, we're going to open up RS Links. We have two drivers that we're going to configure in here. We're also going to flash this L32 after we're done with it. So we will add our two drivers. We have a real serial port on this PC, so this one here is going to be our RS232 port. We're going to leave it on COM1. If you're using one of our USB cables, you're going to need to change that and just look in your device manager. Auto configure, successful. The second one we're going to want to add is IP driver. Add new, OK. And here we have our IP address of our PC. Now you can see your compact logics here. So what we can do is drill down through the back plane and you'll see the Ethernet port. If you go down here to configuration, module configuration, it'll pull it up and it'll tell you all the details about it. Right now it's configured. This CPU has a version 13 in it. Obviously an older version. So we're going to change the port configuration. Set it up to static. 192.168.034. Check with your IT department to verify that this is a good number or ping this number to make sure it's not being used on another device on your network or else you'll crash your network if you have two nodes on the same. After you make your changes, you can also put in the gateway address, but it's not necessary, if, but you can if you need to. So now that we're plugged into the Ethernet, we see our device here. We see both of them. We're going to minimize this, and now let's open up Control Flash. And we're going to look for the 1769L32E. Next. And always do your configuration or your flash over the Ethernet. Um, the L7 series, the 1756 L7 series, do it over the USB. It's faster. Always use the fastest means possible. The RS-232, you can do it, but it's going to take forever and you're taking a chance of it not actually going through. So now we're going to choose our controller that we want to do. So we drill down through the Ethernet, through the Ethernet card backplane to the controller. I select OK. And on this PC, we can go up to version 19. So let's flash that 19. Yes. And that's done. You that you may make a brick out of it. During this time, make sure that the PLC and the PC stay hooked up and powered up the whole time. It's going to scroll through and it's going to power up the CPU after it gets done and it's going to do the pull power up. Um, and this takes some time, so I will come back when it's all done. Okay, it's just completed its first power up. And after it loads the blocks, what it will do is it actually cycle the power. And that's a good idea to, after any change you make, um, say like an IP address or um, if you're doing a firmware, after you're completely done, make sure that you cycle the power before you actually put the machine into 
into production and start to do a application on it. Now we're waiting for the second boot up to start. Again, this takes some time, so we'll go ahead and uh, fast forward until it's complete and then we'll come back to it. Well, it did complete its flash and it rebooted at the end of it. Now you can see that it's done. You can look at the log here if you want to see what it's actually done. Now when we go to our properties see the new version is 19. If you need any more help, let me know. PLCcable.com